Alrighty guys, welcome back to episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. We are in the Grove, baby. Starting on Grove Street and heading out of the city, you'll go through Bala's, Families, and Vago's Turf in South Los Santos. Point to point for cars hey, or motorbikes. Looks like we're doing sports cars here. Right Traffic here is on, Los custom Santos. vehicles are on, catch up is on, nah, and quite. there's a land race 2.41 miles. Let's do it, baby. I'll see you guys in the race. Alrighty guys, here we go. This is just a, uh, a little 1v1 here. Some 1v1 action to start the episode off. I'm down for it. Here we go. What do we got? Let's make sure we hit, hit this opening boost. Yep. Oh, not enough bets placed. I put 2,500 bucks down. Wow. That's a douche move, bro. That was unnecessary. Just because you think you're level 60, you think you're hot shit, don't you? That's why you wouldn't put 2,500 bucks down. Or any money down. Wow, look at that turn, baby. F with me. All right, here we go. Starting to get a draft in. Unlike you, I don't need freaking to wreck people out in order to beat them. Yeah. Go ahead and run into the wall, idiot. Shoot, did I run into a pole? <laughs> pissed me off for some reason. I don't know what it is, but his first instinct was to wreck me rather than just race. Like, that just really makes me mad. I think that's a really rude thing to do. So I'm going to do everything in my power to take this guy out. To win. We're both using custom Carbon Azares. I don't know if his is upgraded more than mine or not. It actually looks like we might be pulling away from him. That's weird. Why isn't he, uh... Why isn't he drafting us? Is he slightly out of range or what? Let's stay on the inside here. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, son. You run into them poles, boy. Team will show you what's up. I don't care what level you are. I can hold it down, baby. Here's the finish line. I will take this win, thank you, buddy. I wish you just would have put money down. So I could have won some money here. But yeah, there you guys have it. Nice little win against a D-bag to start the episode off. See you guys in the next little job race event type thing. All right, guys, here we go. We joined another uh, random any event, and we got another race here. And this is actually a new one, another new one. We can... All right, guys, here we go. We got into another random lobby here. It's another race dipping in. See the power of stolen water and senseless irrigation at work with this long lap race. Up to 16 land vehicles can take this track over the hills from leaf, leafy vinewood to the arid Grand Sonora. So here we go. What do we got? What do we want to use? Um, let's use the Z-Type. I'm pretty sure the Z-Type is like the best uh, old school car here. We'll rock it out with the purple. This is the Corilla DeVille car, baby. All right, what color was hers? Was it... White? We'll go white. I think hers is white. I don't remember. We're going to be giving people the bird if we win. Put down 2500 bucks. We are ready to play. Let's do this. I'm liking all these newer races we're getting. I'm not sure if these races have been in the game already or if a bunch new were added in recently, but we're getting all types of new races and TDMs and all, ki <coughs> and all kinds of cool stuff. Excuse me. Throat's a little dry. Let me take a drink here. But yeah, we're getting a lot of new events lately, so that's making me really happy. Don't have to keep playing the same old Top Fun 2 and freaking Criminal Records over and over. Oh wow, we are rolling deep with the Z-Types. Only guy not in a Z-Type is the guy all the way at the front. He's in the Vaughn car. He is an idiot. I don't know how stupid you can be. <laughs> Somebody rear-ended him. He was so slow to take off. We need to, uh, we need to sell our JB700 or whatever it's called, our Bond car. And, uh, and we need to buy a Z-Type start racing with a Z-Type. Whoa, 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 whoa. Coming around the corner pretty hot. Wow. He had no brakes. He decided to just go for it and it worked out. Oh, lordy. We're going up in the hills with these things. This is not going to be good.
<laughs> oh man. All right. Enough of that stuff. Let's get back into the racing mood, baby. We are destroying it. This is good, too. We're getting a win in this class of cars. I would love... I definitely want to do that. I think that's going to be our next move. After this race, we're immediately going to go uh, get rid of our JB700 bullcrap car. We're going to replace it with a uh, Z-Type. Actually, I don't know if you can sell cars in this game, can you? I'm pretty sure you just have to let them go. That'll be a sad moment. Like, I, I like the JB. It's unique. It's cool looking. You know, it's got the machine guns and stuff on it, but... There's no reason to have it. It doesn't have the uh, the ejector seat like it did in single player. It doesn't have the spikes like it did in single player. If it did, I could understand, you know, why the car is so bad. But it doesn't have those cool things. The car is just absolutely horrible. The handling is awful. The speed is awful. The acceleration is awful. So there's no reason for us to have that thing. So, uh oh, the first time in GTA history we may be making a pass. The second time in GTA history, I guess. <laughs> that guy's still at the start. He's just not playing. Wow, there's cars close behind us. How does that happen? How does that happen? We catch up must be on. I guess that would make sense. It'd be easy for somebody to catch up or, you know, whatever. This long, straight road of not running into anything. Try to keep this lead here. Wow, yeah, he's really close. That's making me nervous. All right, don't run anything, Trev. Count on the fact that he's gonna run into stuff. The Vinewood sign up there. Man, I'm nervous. My heart is fluttering. I don't want him to catch up. I really don't. I am holding down this accelerator. Hopefully we don't run into anything. I feel like we can play it safe and probably win, but it's not guaranteed. Or we can hold down the accelerator, go as fast as we possibly can, never slow down. And then if we crash, we lose. If we don't crash, we win. I'm a high risk taker, baby. Oh gosh. Hit the brakes a little bit there. Oh! Oh! Don't go flying off the cliff, no matter what you do, Trev. Oh, lordy. All right, I think we've gained quite a bit of ground. I think we can settle it down here. Wow, that was really close. I was looking down at the map, the mini map. Not paying attention to the road. I think we got a solid win here, boys. This is a pretty fun race. I wish... Nah, I don't... Wow, that was beautiful. I've never seen lightning strike in this game. What the heck? But I kind of wish we would have had somebody to, to kind of beat up on us and beat up on and... You know, race against up here instead of a nice Question. lonely cruise, but at the same time I'll take the free win, especially because we're gonna be buying this car here pretty soon. That doesn't really matter. You're on a so. boat, and they're not. Let's face it. We Maybe we'll save. Uh, we'll save buying this car. Oh no 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 no! Woo! Wow! Don't 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 trip. Just don't. <laughs> we'll save buying this car for the next episode. I kind of feel like staying in these. Uh, these lobbies doing missions and stuff. I'm in a real mission mood right now. Like, I don't really feel like racing as much. Usually racing is kind of my favorite thing to do. I'm kind of in a mission mood. I want to do some missions. I want to hey, go shoot some gang right members now. and do that sort of thing. We better get a lot of money for this handy win. And there, my friends, is the finish line. Let's take it, baby. That was absolutely incredible win destroyed everybody nobody in sight what's our taking here 15 JP yes yeah, 6120 2150 I dig that that was a good one I love it any bet winnings we put 2500 bucks down nope unfortunately not okay well you guys have it see you guys in the next little race type thing and these guys have not even placed yet so see you in a bit alrighty guys here we go welcome Alrighty guys, looks like I got my wish. We're doing a mission here, a titan of a job. I assume you've heard of Meriwether Security? Those warmongers for hire making billions in the Middle East? 
Well, now they're trying to expand their domestic operations. Some associates of mine are prepared to pay top dollar for a Titan transport plane if it can be retrieved from Mayweather's protection at Los Santos International. Use a helicopter to get into the airport and stay out of restricted airspace. Buyers are waiting at Sandy Shores Airfield. So it looks like we're going to steal a Titan for Trevor. This should be fun. I'll see you guys in the game. Alrighty, guys, here we go. What the heck are we doing? We're waiting for an incoming helicopter, maybe? Maybe not? Aren't we supposed to take a helicopter out there? Um, let me call my mechanic. I'm gonna have him bring me a car. And then I'm gonna call, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm on the clock. What Moore's. You want? Some wheels? Just give me anything, bro. Thanks. It's coming at you. I'm gonna call Moore's. And I'm gonna get a, uh, a cargo bob in here. Not Moore's. Shoot. Not Moore's. Not Moore's. Uh, Pegasus. Thanks, bro. You're a good friend. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help you? Your beautiful new aircraft is waiting at our nearest airfield. We hope you're very happy, sir. So I've got a major advantage over these guys. These guys don't have their own personal cars being delivered to them, and they don't know where a helicopter's gonna be. So here we go. Hopefully my helicopter's not showing up on their screen. If it is, I'll be pissed off if they get there first and freaking take it. But yeah. It's it. For some reason, it said we're supposed to be taking a helicopter into the um, the LAX, but I guess it uh, it doesn't want us to do that now. I'm not sure. So here we go. Let's um let's follow the rules that we were initially told. Hopefully, we can beat those guys to LAX in our chopper. I'm not sure if we'll be able to. They kind of have a pretty big pretty big head start, but we'll see what we can do here. Come on, Cargo Bob. There she is up there. In a time like this, I have one of those. I wish I had one of those faster choppers. We might have to buy some faster choppers. Those will be pretty useful in this situation. Okay, here we go. Miss the cargo, Bob. Here we go. Time to beat the traffic, baby. The perp, the freaking perks of being a multimillionaire in GTA. These guys are probably already there. This is probably all a waste. <laughs> oh well, we're having fun with it, baby. We may be able to get out in the airfield quicker than they can, though. Uh-oh. We're starting to be able to see them on our screen. I'm not sure who's in first for these guys, but... I think we may be able to get to this Titan the quickest. Oh, yeah, we are. Uh-oh, somebody just died. Oh, he's spinning out. Yeah! Our plan worked out, baby. Oh, no, there's somebody already there. Did he respawn? Oh, he just respawned right next to it. That's bullshit. Coming in hot. I'm going for it, boys. I don't care about him. I'm going for it. I'm going to take this thing. Somebody protect me. Nice. We are the driver, baby. Let's get out of here. Somebody move that semi-truck. Thank you. Who is that? Who's that teammate of mine that's moving the semi-truck? You are one smart guy. <laughs> we just ditched somebody. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Sorry about your luck. Oh, whoever moved that semi-truck deserves teammate of the year. I feel like 99.9% .9 of people wouldn't realize that they have to do that. Thank you. I'm sorry for the guys I left behind. I know I have one co-pilot spot, and then also if you punch the back of these things, you can, uh... 
what's it called? You, you can like have seating back there. You could fit an entire lobby of people back there, but uh, I didn't feel like waiting for it. I just wanted to take off. We're the pilot, baby. We're taking this thing home. Solid work, boys. Good all-around team. I'm seriously, that's the most magnificent thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> A teammate that actually knew what he was doing and actually came in and did something productive. Sacrifice for the team rather than taking the, the sweet, fun plane ride. Moved the semi chuck for us so we could get out of there. Because honestly, I was about to um, to just run it over. Like if he wouldn't have moved that, I would have just tried to push it out of the way, and it probably would have ended up blowing us up, and the whole mission would have been washed. But he uh, he clutched it there. That was Captain Clutch Pants, baby. All right. As soon as we get over this mountain, I'm gonna make sure we're lined up correctly to uh, to come in for a smooth landing. I don't want to have any. Uh, problems at the end of this. I'm not sure which direction the airfield is is facing, you know, like I, I don't know which way it we should be coming in at. Alright, I think we're good. Um, wow! We definitely need to go right a lot. It's a, it's a good thing we checked that. These guys are probably like, what is this ass hat doing? You just wait, bros. We're gonna be coming in straight. Shoot, 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 too much. These are pretty hard to control, guys. Don't think I suck. Alright, how are we looking now? Shit, still really crooked. Oh well, that's alright. We're just gonna land on this one down here. Coming in, no propellers. Look at that! What? What? That scared the shit out of me! What just happened? What? I'm gonna have to go back and look at that. Give me one second, guys. <laughs> Alright, so after reviewing the tape, I do not see anything that could have caused that landing to happen and for the plane to blow up. I don't see any, that landing was smoother than a baby's bottom and we're putting it in slow-mo here. There is nothing that could have caused this plane to blow up. The only thing that I can think of is one of my teammates is trolling and he put some sticky bombs on like the side of the plane and blew it up shortly after we landed right before we completed the mission. But that sucks because I bet we would have gotten a ton of money for completing that. I can't believe that. I'm really pissed off. If you guys have any idea as to why that plane blew up, let me know. But I don't see any problems with my end with the landing or anything like that. So there you guys have it. Thanks for watching the video. A little bit of an unexpected ending, but still a great nonetheless. Catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.